Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are so very happy you have joined us. Now, before we get started, I'm going to ask you, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel, to click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. Doing this ensures that you never miss out and you can be amongst the first to view a new video. Inflation is hitting all grocery budgets, mine, yours, your neighbours, your best friends, everybody's. And prices seem to be going up every single day. So it's time to take a good look at your shopping list and make some adjustments. Now, the latest stats are that groceries have gone up on average 37% in the last two years. Now, I know we already knew that. It was a no-brainer. Anyone that does the grocery shopping knows that. It just takes the powers that be and that teensy tiny little while to catch up with real life. Anyway, we all need to adjust for inflation so we can stick to our grocery budget and still eat good, healthy food. Look at what you're putting in your trolley. As you throw it in, have a good look at it. Is everything in the trolley absolutely necessary? Or you know, are some of the items luxuries or what we tend to think of as luxuries or justify as treats? Are there cheaper brands you could try? Can you just not buy whatever it is? So you have that money in your grocery budget to use for something else? Can you buy in bulk and save? Don't forget to check the unit price, folks. Remember, bulk means more. It does not necessarily mean cheaper. Are the ingredients you have in the trolley used in more than one recipe? If you have single recipe ingredients in that trolley, Perhaps you can find a substitute ingredient that you already have. And there's a great list of substitutes on the Cheapskates Club website. I'll put a link to it below me. Or maybe you can find another similar recipe that doesn't rely on those single, very expensive ingredients. Make sure your ingredients and everything in your trolley can be used to make more than one thing. Make sure they can be used for multiple recipes. Another thing to look at, is there a cheaper way to get the things in your trolley? For example, um, if you're buying single portions, can you buy a cheaper bulk version and decant it? Um, into single portions. Now remember, check the unit price because bulk means more, not cheaper. Yeah, things like single serve yogurt. Buy a kilo of yogurt and portion it out for lunches or breakfasts or snacks, or better still, make it. Or grated or sliced cheese. Can you buy the block and grate or slice it yourself? You know, the cost saving on that alone can be significant. For example, did some little price checking here. A 250 gram pack of cheese slices costs $4.40 or $17.60 a kilo. A 500 gram, oh, let me start again, a 500 gram block of cheddar cheese costs $7 or $14 a kilo. Straight up, that's a $3.60 a kilo saving or $187.20 over a year if you use two packets of sliced cheese a week. And yes, you can slice that block of cheese just as thinly as the wrapped slices. 
the trick is to slice it straight from the fridge while it's cold. Use a very sharp knife or if you have one, an electric knife. Just go zip through it. Actually, an electric knife in the kitchen, handy thing to have. Or you can use a cheese slicer. Get it from the kitchenware shop, a, a homeware shop. Might cost you $10 or save you hundreds. Well worth the investment. The same for grated cheese. Grating it rather than buying, buying grated saves you a bundle of money. You know, that $187, that's more than two weeks worth of grocery money saved with just one simple change to what you put in your trolley. A simple adjustment for inflation that is going to save you a lot of money. Think about what's on your list and how you can get these things cheaper as you do your shopping. Now, it might add about five minutes to your shopping trip, but it can mean the difference between staying on budget or going over budget. And if you go over budget, it's usually, you know, more than you can really afford. We have a budget for a reason. Think about it. Make those simple adjustments to your shopping and you will beat inflation. If you like our channel, could you please help us by doing three simple things? Like, subscribe and share. Click the thumbs up, then the subscribe button and then choose how often you want to be notified and then hit that share button and send the link to someone you know who might benefit from this video. These three things really help our channel to grow and they make it easy to find. And the easier it is to find, the easier it is to spread the word that it is not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but it is absolutely possible even in this crazy world that is 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave a comment if you have one in the comments below me. I read all comments and I do my best to answer your questions. If you have a question, it helps if you put it all in capital so it stands out. Sometimes they get a bit lost in the general chit chat. Until next time, folks. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Until next time, folks, happy cheapskating. I'll be back with another video very, very soon.